uh, a student from Delhi asked me a very nice question which books will guarantee my selection in the J mains and J advanced right so I thought of making a video so that all of those students who are confused about which books to uh, study uh, or use in their preparation uh, journey to uh, get into prestigious colleges like NITs or IITs right so I am up with it I want to tell you that uh, which book to refer depends on the time frame right it depends on the time frame actually right how much time do you have to prepare for your upcoming entrance exam right if you have two months remaining and now you are serious you need to use a different kind of book if you have one year remaining and you are serious for your preparations you need a different category of books for that and if you are just a beginner you are in class 11th and you have two years time and you are a good student and serious student and aiming to uh, go into IITs and all so you have you will have a different category of uh, books to refer for right so I am uh, taking all these three categories and we'll discuss about the books you can refer for uh, for your preparations in IITs along with your uh, coaching and uh, school preparations right and if you have enrolled in any coaching center uh, you should join a good reputed coaching uh, center which has a good selection rate in IITJ right not that fake one but a good selection rate in IITJ their uh, material is quite uh, good so you can follow that now regarding the books to refer if you are a class 11 student and you want to refer some book along with your school or your coaching material what you can do is in physics I'm talking about J mains and J advanced ex exclusively here for physics you can use HC Verma and I E Rodov at the same time if you are in class 11 and if you are a good student what you will need is you will need that uh, solution booklet along with you to refer for but you should start HC Verma and I E Rodov at the same time right you should complete one topic from HC Verma and put your hands on problem solving on IE Rodov as well. Use hints, use solutions, no problem in that. You will obviously learn from that, right? Now, for uh, chemistry, you should start with OP Dundon. OP Dundon, all the three, physical, inorganic and organic, you should start with OP Dundon if you are in class 11 right now and serious for your preparations, right? That bulky OP Dundon book, that's good for you. And in mathematics, Amit Amagarwal, volume 1 and volume 2, both the volumes you should buy at the same time and should start with that right now for the second category if you are in uh, anyhow you missed your class 11 preparations properly and now you are serious for your preparations in class 12 still there is hope for you you have one year to prepare for IITJ and J mains etc still you can start with your preparations properly with equal efficiency as that of a class 11 student doing uh, since uh, one year back you can even compete him or her uh, by a very different category of books right by a different very uh, very different category of books now if you're in class 12 you should not solve IE Erodov you should not even look at that start with HC Verma get a solution booklet for yourself from the market and start with HC Verma right Erodov type of book is just for mental development and nothing else now you have time for a less mental development you uh, you have already missed your one year so you should now focus on your uh, just cracking part and not that mental development so you can start with HC Verma and solve uh, quickly uh, from that and uh, for chemistry you should uh, not use that OP Tundon bulky books now you should use numerical type of books which uh, you can solve in quick time right for example you can use uh, <coughs> you can use uh, Himanshu Pandey for organic chemistry since most of the class 12 covers organic chemistry uh, you should use uh, Himanshu Pandey for inorganic chemistry you can use uh, numerical books like VK Jaiswal and for physical chemistry you can use Narendra Avasti right Balaji publications Narendra Avasti these are numerical books which you can refer you can start in class 12 as well you can complete both the class 12 and class 11 topics in one year only using these books because these books contain less of theory and more of numericals or rather I would say they have no theory so you should focus on numericals only and a little bit of theory you can get from um, here there and from other books you can solve on uh, numericals only for maths for maths you should go for um, <coughs> some other book like uh, that small parts of uh, Aryan publications you can use that vector 3d Amitam and Agarwal 
you can use that calculus by amitam agarwal that small small books topic wise books you can use uh, you can make a target that you will complete one part in two months and so on so forth right you can buy one book specially on algebra you can buy one book on coordinate geometry say for coordinate geometry you have a <coughs> good book for uh, i guess uh, sl loney for trigonometry also you have a good book so going uh, through that uh, particular kind of books vector 3d you have amita magarwal so going through that particular kind of books you can make a fixed target for 2 to 2 months and you can complete all the five topics we have five branches in mathematics algebra coordinate geometry vectors and 3d <coughs> statistics probability and so on so forth right so by this you can do it now coming to um, last moment of time suppose you have 2 3 months of time left for you and you are now serious for your preparations now it seems like a tough task but it's not that tough task i have seen and i have personally felt this that 3 months of preparation will always uh, lead you to a good rank in j mains and j advance what you can do is now you should be smart you should skip all those books and you should just go for the previous year books previous year books for those students who are preparing seriously from class 11 and class 12 even they have to do the previous year book and they should start the previous year book from that point of time only suppose you are studying in class 11 and you have completed one chapter you should complete the previous year uh, book a uh, previous year questions from uh, the j mains and j advance of last 20 years for j mains and for last 37 years of j advance you should do that but in case you have not studied properly and at the last moment you have uh, that uh, fear in you that you might fail and you might not end up getting into a good college and now you are serious about your preparations what you can do is don't go for those books no book will help you at that time just go for the previous year book that archive previous year uh, 37 years j advance and uh, that 20 years uh, or rather 16 17 years j mains book what you can do is solve the questions from that book pick up a chapter solve questions from that book right take a stopwatch along with you go and buy a stopwatch along with you keep your stopwatch with you and fix 10 10 minutes or rather i will say fix 5 5 minutes time slots right you uh, open a chapter click on the stopwatch and 5 minutes you need to solve questions from that chapter only like you uh, started with atomic structure say you started with atomic structure you solve two questions from 2002 and 2003 in that 5 minutes and stop go for the next chapter go for chemical bonding you solve two questions say of 2007 and 2008 and stop next you go for thermodynamics so you got stuck in a question you uh, couldn't solve two questions in 5 minutes you solved only one question in 5 minutes even you couldn't solve it properly yourself you need to see the solutions and by uh, going through the solutions and you could hardly attempt that question and 5 minutes gone still stop go to the next chapter like this you need to uh, give rounds on your preparation like if you if you study like this and if you give 5 5 minutes time slot in one hour you will be able to uh, put your hands on 12 chapters right now this this seems like a very uncommon method but it's a great method to compete with those students who are studying already since one year two years you can do this in two months in fact if you have five or six days in your hand and you have an exam next week and you are not uh, um up with your preparations you are stressed you want to revise everything but you can't revise everything this is the greatest revision method i can say what you need to do is get a stopwatch take out a chapter 5 minutes stop very strictly 5 minutes stop even if you are stuck with a question and want to complete it don't stop again in the next round you will do that in this way you can break your time in 5 5 minutes and uh, you can easily complete your complete revision in 3 days maximum 3 days if you have 6 days 7 days left in time you can complete it twice right j main syllabus you can complete in uh, complete twice in 5 to 6 days if you follow this method yeah what it can be you can say that uh, i am not uh, pretty confident with that chapter i need some more time i need 5 uh, to 6 hours for completing that chapter you don't have that option with you 
it could have been possible if you had enough time with you but now since you are serious with the preparation and want to crack it in the minimum time that's the actual method to do it in that five minutes you need to be highly efficient highly efficient and in that five minutes you will get a grip of what that chapter is all about and when you uh, put four or five rounds on all the chapters you will get a complete knowledge you will almost get a complete knowledge of all the chapters you have uh, gone through right and then you will sit beside a person who is uh, started preparation since a long time you will be able to cope up with that person otherwise you will be nowhere right so that's the only method if you want to prepare at the last moment you don't need to go for any books you just need to uh, go through the previous year questions if you have one year span of time if you are serious in class 12 and even if you are serious in class uh, if you are a repeater say then you should go for that uh, small small books uh, which has uh, uh, less of theory and more of numericals in maths you need to go for part wise orient right or some specific books like trigonometry coordinate geometry sl noni and uh, this that if you are in class 11 you should go for that bulky books op dandan you should read properly you should solve properly mathematics amita magarwal hc verma must for class 11 class 12 class 13 it's must but not for those studying for that two three months of time and yes if you are a beginner and are serious in your studies you should start with i erodo you should not listen to anybody else that you should solve erodo later you should not listen that you should get a solution booklet from the market that because that later never comes right that later never comes you will hardly find anyone uh, around you who is solving hc verma in the first six months and then i erodo in the next six or eight months no it's not possible because you have chemistry to study you have math to study you have many things to do and you need to do everything not just studies you should play you should do everything so if you are in class 11 you should start with hc verma erodo simultaneously right using the solution booklets there is no harm in that okay so that's all uh, if you have any queries you can always comment on the comment box i will uh, surely reply you and will come up with a new video thanks